Okay, guys, we all know that Starkid is hilarious, so here are some joke highlights from the meet and greet. First thing um, they said is that everyone in the audience was going to perform a very Potter musical, and they were going to watch us. And they were like, okay, now who's going to be Harry? And everyone was dead silent except for me. I raised my hand and said, me. And um, <laughs> uh, Matt and Nick Lang um, were saying, she probably knows all the lines. <laughs> and um, then someone asked who the bromances were in Star Kid. And, um, apparently Brian and Matt, I think it's Matt, right? Like Calvin, apparently have an ongoing thing. And then they were just like, no, Starkin is one big bromance. And we often hold, we often take bubble baths together, said Joe Walker, and we hold meetings in the nude and in bubble baths. And apparently the night before, um, Matt had been going to sleep at, and was just laying down, and then, like, as he was going to sleep, Joey was giving him a foot massage. And, um, <laughs> the girl next to me asked about the red vines, and Richard Campbell, I, I, he did this every time. <laughs> and then, um, someone asked for each person, to say one of their most well-known lines, um, and Brian Rosenthal was the first, but he couldn't think of anything, and he was just like, I don't know my lines, and so immediately we started shouting them out, and they were just like, Brian, they know your lines, and you don't, <laughs> and, um, oh god, there were a couple of other good ones, oh yeah, and there was one about um, about how Voldemort was shirtless and wearing a cape and sparkles, and then Lucius um, didn't have wasn't shirtless. It was sort of like how if they were explaining it as an inside joke. How the higher up you got in the ranks of the Death Eaters, the more you could unbutton your shirt, the more sparkles you could wear. And apparently Lucius was only allowed to wear a cape when it cold outside. Um, Joe Walker said it better because he can actually do a world market. I can't. <laughs> um, everyone was super funny, but those are the only jokes that they knew that I can remember right now. But um, apparently a very Potter sequel, um, I I don't know. I would really like for them to further explore some of the ideas they had. Like, um, like because they, everyone was busy fighting Voldemort, they all failed their owls, and so they had to go to summer school. And then Zac Efron was in summer school, but he was so nice that he became more popular than Harry, and so Harry was being, there was like a rivalry going on. And then, that was, that was their first idea. And then, I think, and then their, their second idea was, um, they all traveled back in time to the 80s when, um, Lily and James were going to school, and, um, so was Lucius and Quirrell, and they even had Voldemort and stuff, and, um, apparently that there would be a real romance, not a romance, going on with Voldemort and Quirrell, and then, um, then somehow they messed up the past so that Snake and Lily ended up together, but that basically just destroyed the world because then Harry was never born and so no one ever defeated Voldemort. And so those and so then they had to go back and like destroy Snake's life and make sure he never alone. And I really like those ideas, but um they said <laughs> they were just like why did we make a sequel when it was such a dumb idea? And I said, because you're awesome. And they said, that's not the right answer. <laughs> they did. They said that. And I was just like, what? So, that, that was me. Um, no.
no, it wasn't mean, but okay. And then someone asked why Lauren rolled all the time. And at the end, I said kind of quietly, do a barrel roll, because I didn't want to be super loud. And But the Joe Walker heard me, and he was just like, oh, nice. <laughs> so that, that was awesome. Um, I gave my scarf to her and told you guys. She's so cool. I'm totally gonna miss it already. Um, if you guys ask more questions, I'll probably come back with more answers and I'll probably remember more stuff. But do it quickly before I fall asleep and forget everything. Um, bye, and I wish you guys could have been there. <laughs>